arrested for voyeurism. Louisville police accuse him of recording the family nanny over several months. WLKY Steve Bergen joins us now live with more on what police are saying about it. Steve? Rick, according to investigators, the man placed a homemade recording device in the spare bedroom of his home. Joel Hitzelberger was arrested in the early morning hours at his Middletown home. Police say they found videos of the victim taken in a guest bathroom. Spokesman Dwight Mitchell says the recordings were from April to November. Apparently, uh, he was uh, filming her uh, for the purposes of exposing her genitalia in, in the home, uh, unbeknownst to her. Hitzelberger is facing a misdemeanor charge with a penalty if convicted of up to one year in jail. Michael Lasavio, an attorney who teaches at the U of L Department of Criminal Justice, keeps up with technology and the law. Have our laws caught up with these new technologies? And no, they haven't. The problem is drafting good laws that don't go too far. Lasavio says the cameras keep getting smaller and harder to detect. Other states have made voyeurism a felony because of the damage it can do. I think anyone would be devastated when you think you're in privacy and you're not. And uh, obviously, they were close to this individual, someone to take advantage of you like that. The U of L Law School bears the name of Supreme Court Justice Louis Brandeis. Lasavio offered an opinion on privacy handed down by Brandeis. Encapsulated it as the, the right to be left alone. That you have there are certain places in your life that should be yours. Now, according to court records, police found the homemade recording device in a cabin belonging to Hitzelberger in Tennessee. His arraignment is scheduled for tomorrow morning.